greetings in the name of Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, the one true God. Amen. The Great Lent starts by commemorating the first miracle performed by Jesus, that is, turning water to wine at the wedding feast of Cana. The changing of water to wine is the first public act by Jesus, the inaugural sign of God's presence through him into the world. The Gospel reading of each Sunday of the Great Lent is about the great miracles performed by Jesus. So, today I am going to elaborate John chapter 2 verses 1 to 11, the wedding feast of Cana. On the third day, there was a wedding at Cana. The mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples was also been invited. So, when the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus told him, They have no wine left. Jesus said, Woman, what concern is that to you? My hour is not yet come. The mother of Jesus told the servants, Do whatever he tells you to do. Now, standing there were six stone jar pots for the Jewish rite of purification, each holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told them to fill it with water. They filled it till the brim. Now, draw some water and give it to the steward. When the steward tasted it, it had already become wine. The last words tell us the miracle at Cana is the first sign by Jesus. Through this sign, it reveals his salvation, abundance and new life now present in the world through him. This Sunday is also known as the Kutine Sunday. According to the dictionary of the church, it is the beginning of the ministry of Jesus after his baptism. The church requires us to read and meditate on this passage on the opening day of the Great Lent which prepares us to pour out the intoxicating wine on the cross. Every moment of joy and happiness in human life without notice could slip into a moment of suffering, dishonor and shame. The presence of God by the way of being invited could help us to remove the slippery nature of our moment and make it and the moment of joy and happiness. May the Almighty God bless us all.